Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to show you something that sort of uh, helped me along in my minimalist uh, cook set that I've been working on here. My, my solo one man, you know, kind of using it for my go bag or for camping, uh, hiking, whatever. Um, so a big fan of the uh, the model cook set from Pathfinder, uh, Dave Canterbury's. Um, this thing comes with a stove stand, okay, obviously that nests on the bottom of it. You don't have a lot of options with that and uh, when I've been using it, I've been kind of digging a little trough in the ground out to build my fire up under it to give myself a little more room so i've been thinking about uh getting a twig stove you know and uh not really sure if i want to spend the money on that i mean they're like 30 40 bucks all the way up to you know 100 who knows um so i've been looking for something that uh that can pack easy i don't have to sit there and mess with and manipulate and put together when i'm you know out in the woods uh so i did find this uh company called branded boards okay and it's just a simple grill grate well, not as simple. They have simple ones, um, one piece. This one folds, okay? And it's got these little stops on it. So it's a uh, six by six, and if you wanna open it up, you got a six by 12, okay? Guys yeah, been really impressed with this thing. It's uh, really well made, and it's got little hinges on it they've welded. Um, looks like they kinda missed a little bit right there, but it's okay, I think it'll hold up. Um, I was thinking about going with the solid one that doesn't fold, but this packs down in a pack just really awesome. Um, and it's not going to fit in your pouch on your water bottle uh, thing unless you got a, a really big one. Uh, it doesn't fit any of mine. But um, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of options and also what I've added to this. I've got a small fire going, so let's hop over there and check it out. Okay, guys, so what I've done, the modifications I've done to this, and I'm not going to use it this way today. I'm going to use it the way that they had designed it for. But I basically took these, uh, uh, four of these little, we got Shepherd's Hook, 89-cent uh, tent stakes from Walmart. They're stainless steel. And I just put it in a vise, and I bent the head of it back uh, with a pair of vise grips so that it looks like this. So that way I can insert it here and just let it rest on that. I can adjust the height of it. I can level it up. Um, so that's another option. And also you can take these and uh, put them together. You could use three or four, and if you just wanna use a cup, and it helps cradle the cup in there better than if you just use the top of the tent stakes, cause it just sorta of holds it in there like that. Um, if you just wanna heat up a cup and you could just use the tent stakes itself. So that's another option with this setup here. Um, but anyway, all I do is just kinda of set them kinda of where they need to be and hook them on there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just wherever you can get it to land. Well, uh, one thing is flip the flip it upside down if you're going to do this. Okay. So the reason that I came up with this is because I want to use this in conjunction with, um, say, a larger fire pit, a smaller fire pit uh, by itself. So what I can do typically. Uh, when I use a fire pit, I have a what they call like a keyhole uh, Shaped fire pit and the front of it stays open so I can get my fire going I have my warmth and my light if I need it for nighttime um, I can take my shovel and I can rake my coals uh, From the fire up under here and that way I can cook and work right here and not have to deal with all the heat of the fire Like right in my face. So this right here has worked out pretty well uh, We cooked some uh, bratwurst last night with the kids and I use this at the fire pit at the house um, so this it works out pretty good. Um, I'll show you the just the cup. So you'll turn them around the other way. I'm sure most of you can imagine, but okay. And like I said, you can just use three, you can use four and build your fire under that. And that's a lot better than what I had done previously where I'm just setting the cup on top of this um, because it wants to kind of slide off. You got to get it just right. I don't have to worry about it so much with this. Or really, if you use four, it uh, works really well. So now, the way this was designed originally, of course, you could just lay it across. Uh, you want to turn it to where the hinge folds up this way, obviously. I can lay it across here, okay, and cook on it. Um, I could turn it this way. And I could use the weight of a rock to hold the other end up. And then when I'm done, I could flip it out of the way with a stick and mess with the fire, um, get it going back again, uh, make a cup of coffee, what have you. So pretty cool little thing. Um, 
about 15 bucks on Amazon, I think is what it was. And then, like I said, the four tent stakes were 89 cents a piece. Um, so that'll work pretty well. Of course, I'd level it up a little bit better if I was actually going to do it like this. But kind of see how that works there. I have some better rocks, too. This is one of my little areas I don't use a whole lot. I need to fix it up. Um, but, of course, I'm going to cook something since I brought you out here. So we'll get it going. All right, let's burn some bologna. It's probably going to scorch. But yeah, this has worked out quite well. So like I said, it, it packs down so flat. I've got a uh, a pocket in the back of my backpack that's, uh, it won't close, I don't think, but it'll just slip right down in there, um, you know, with the tent stakes and everything. So it packs down pretty small, and it's, I think it's better than a twig stove because I can use it pretty much anywhere in multiple different ways uh, where it's a twig stove. You know, you got to get it leveled up and make sure, you know, I'm on a hill all the time. So uh, this works out pretty well for me. I'm going to burn that. So for the price, I mean, you really can't beat it. Like I said, it's really well made. Um, I think uh, if you watch Corporal Corner's channel, he uses something similar to this. I think he's got a solid one. Anyway, uh, you could fit a few squirrels on here. Two or three, maybe. And it's got a nice finish to it. It cleans uh, really easy. You could take, a, you know, just a little green scotch pad and rub it off in the creek, however you want to clean it. Uh, I haven't seen it bow up yet um, uh, in the middle. The way that it's way weaved in and out and it's kind of wavy, I think that helps prevent that. So, big fan of this. So, in total, I got around... 20 bucks in this and I can cook pretty much whatever I want um, a ribeye steak will fit on there you know easily so and you know the way that it folds down you could have two or three if you really wanted to if you got a bigger pack and you know there's more than one of you And you can feed it just like a twig stove, just up and under. Now the uh, the stove stand that come with the bottle set, like I said, it's kind of it's got a small hole, and I would always dig the trough up under it and try and work with it that way. But you just don't have a whole lot of room. The one thing that I thought about adding to this would be like a, one of those foldable windscreens made out of the aluminum sheets, and they just kind of they're on hinges and they accordion out. I don't really find it necessary, I guess. Um, I've got rocks everywhere. You can use logs and just what have you. You know, you could dig a hole down in there if you wanted to. Put two rocks in there and use it. So, uh, pretty universal little system here. Pretty happy with that. Make sure I don't burn that. All right, guys, that's all I have for that. So, uh, if you, I'll drop a link in the description if you guys are interested in this. Like I said, I think it's about, about 15 bucks or something. So, branded boards on Amazon um, is where I found this one. Uh, pretty happy with it. So, all right, guys, that's it. See you next time.